Good evening, everybody out there. Today is a very good day, and I'll tell you why. Because you are sitting there and watching your favorite show, and that is men. Now, we're here at the Sheraton Kampala Hotel. On your show, that is sponsored by Obulamu. My name is Peter Igaga, and we are here to talk about work. Surprisingly, a lot of people think that work is a man's thing, but women are actually stepping up to the plate and taking us on. So today, we have a top cop. Yeah. Polly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to the show. Like Thank the way you. you're all picked up, looking all ready for action. <coughs> all macho. Huh? There might, Thank there you might very be some much. Thank you. Oh yes, yes, yes. Watch what you say. There won't be. Watch what you say. Yeah. Today could be that, that day. Yes, 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 yes. Hope you don't become a. I'm uh, seated next call. to the exit. <laughs> ah, all right. Anything yeah. happens, you're out. <laughs> Great yeah. stuff. Now, a lot of people have made it look like work is predominantly a man's thing. And some people even say that a woman's place is in the kitchen. Now, Polly, <laughs> you are in a very male-dominated field. Mm. Um, it has been tough, I'm sure. Okay? There are days I wouldn't be surprised if you wonder, what did I get into? Okay. Do you think men and women are equal? Oh, thank you, and hello to uh, those who are viewing us. Mm. Oh, well, I would like to say that we can be in the kitchen and out of the kitchen into the field. Well, That's the right. balance. <laughs> so I'm pleased to be one of those who can still cook uh -huh. and still come out and, yeah. and serve Ugandans and also be able to get some cash into my pockets yeah. and make my life much easier. So today I would like to say that there are some women who are able to... All women are able to, but they have not yet discovered the ability mm -hmm. to do that. But there are women today, although in Uganda we are still less than 1% yeah. who are out there doing what the men used to do uh, predominantly. Um, uh, in the engineering department, they are in the architecture world, they are in the, in the design world, mm -hmm. they are in the forces with, we, uh, with me. So we are able to move out there make the time for, for, the, for that kind of work, run back, take the children for immunization, I would like to say that we are there. Yeah. And we would like to encourage everybody out there who still thinks that they can't yeah. to go on and do it. Mm -hmm. But we can. They can make it. They can get pregnant, carry the gun. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, but I'm very happy that we, we are able to, to, to get that opportunity mm -hmm. because previously we would be restricted to go to the kitchen and cook for the men while they went hunting. Yeah. But the days of hunting are almost mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. So while the men look for cash, let's look for cash. Let's do all these things dynamically and let's move on. Okay. You know, you've talked about um, how it was in the past. Mm -hmm. And you know, the good thing is it wasn't too far off. Um, can we then say that men are not up to scratch, so that's why women are having to come in. I wouldn't like to say that, but Ugandan women want to be able to get to, to get the 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 chance to mm -hmm. also provide, yeah. to also contribute. You know, previously we had this saying that I built the house. You can go back to your father's home. Mm -hmm. You know, but today because you know I contribute to that, you will not bring up that argument. Mm -hmm. So the women want to feel self-reliant. They mm -hmm. want to be able to also. Uh, put in something while they get out something. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to we want to be part of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And it's not about men providing. Yes, men still want to provide because he would tell you, okay, this is the money, like the Baganda call it Ezaka Meza. Yes, that 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 pocket change that they leave uh, on the table. Ah, they goodness. still do leave it there. Mm -hmm. But we will get out of the house and place it there and give it to the maid and say, please purchase this, but we shall go and work mm -hmm. and contribute to the school fees payment, to the children's bill in hospitals and all that. Mm -hmm. I think that's exactly what is pushing us out to go to the field and work. It's not about men. Mm -hmm. the, today it's, it's not about world. men. It's really not about you guys. <laughs> we want to get out there and feel we are out there. Yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> previously you, you, would, you would ask a woman, why is it that you want to work? Mm -hmm. And she would tell you, maybe because my parents are encouraging me to do this job. Mm -hmm. But today women want to work because they want to work. They want that authority that comes out mm -hmm. of working in that engineering department. Yeah. The, in laying bricks there yeah. to construct that house, the women want to feel that authority that comes with it. They want to drive taxis and <laughs> feel that, you know, they feel that they actually are doing it. It's you know not about men. men. But we'll get to that. <laughs> 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 Faisal. Yeah. Your thoughts. 
Well, first of all, it's, it's good to be back on the show. I know you missed me, Chris. <laughs> 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 My thoughts are, yeah, of course, of course, uh, I mean, moving from prehistorical, pre pre the prehistorical period, yeah, mm -hmm. things have been changing. I mean, how, uh, how the, the Bible is very far. Okay, <laughs> let me just let me just okay. state it. Yeah. I mean, look at uh, Jesus and uh, his disciples. Yeah, when he was, I don't know whether he chose them or he just said, you know, if my disciples, my disciples come up, twelve people, there were twelve men. There's no woman mm -hmm. back then. Yeah, so we've lived in that kind of society where even up to right now, a pope can publicly go and tell people you know what this position is only for us men a woman can't come and be a pop yeah so these things they kind of we'll keep saying yeah men and women are equal men and women are equal but there are those big things that we we have still failed and out up to yeah. now i mean i don't i don't see chris why can't a woman be pop I'm not Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> well, my opinions are different. Mm. But, yeah, but, but, uh, we, can, but we can't say there. never. We can't. We can't say never. We well, have as women now, bishops as today. Of now, as of now, there's a law <laughs> barring women from becoming Pope. Yeah? And uh, we are living... You know, I like, I like the way you said uh, women want to be breadwinners, women want to be this and that. But you see, not all women are like that. And, you see, and, and this extends to the job market. I mean, look at... You know when you go to a saloon, for example, you, I've listened to very many women, and when they're working on them, or when they're washing their hair, they want a man to do it, mm -hmm. yeah? Like even some jobs that we used to think are ah, like a hairdresser man, those are women jobs, they're female jobs. But right now, mm -hmm. a woman can tell, you can come and tell you, you know what, I prefer a guy working on me yeah. than, uh, than not a woman. And you look at things like cutex, people that, you know, do the cutex and nails. Manicures. Yeah, yes, manicures. Because <laughs> I feel like I feel like women are experts at that. Mm -hmm. She's going to come and tell you there are like twenty shades. Mom only seeing one color, pink, 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 <laughs> pink. She's seeing like twenty colors. Mm -hmm. But I've never seen a female pedicure or whatever. Okay. You have not met them. I haven't. Yeah. I'm speaking from experience. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I haven't. So as much as we are pushing this whole men and women are supposed to be equal we also have to acknowledge that in life there are preferences yeah mm -hmm. however much you want things to be equal there are just some jobs that preferably you'd want a man to do preferably you'd want a woman to do we are not actually saying that people should be equal mm. but we are saying is it possible for them to be is it possible to let the women go and let the men go and where they decide to go is their own their own decision you know for example if we we've seen quite a number of men now who are nurses which yeah. wasn't the case before yeah, yeah. and we've seen quite a number of women today who are doctors and who are engineers mm. so what would like to see police. yes who are in, in the, the forces police, yeah. who, who I j i've just seen rose handling the camera yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she's, and she's I, in charge yes. of the show. I, I, want, I, want, shut up, you I shut want to up. talk about and, another and profession. Run, she will another run. profession yes. behind behind their <laughs> cameras. The, <laughs> behind yeah, that yeah, street yeah, that yeah, men are also indulging <laughs> in these days. But let me because let me just yes. so, so, so what so what we want to see what we want to see. Can we give an opportunity to these people from the word go, from when they are children, to decide where they want to go? Not to the kitchen, because it is predetermined that they should be in the kitchen, mm. but because they are, the opportunities there are available for them to, to take up. And the possibilities for them to be able to excel in those fields are there. Well, no, that's what I would like to say. And I'd like to hear from you, Chris. Mm. Are there certain jobs that are for men and certain jobs that are for women? As in... There's, uh, there's certain jobs that have a clear divide. Because Polly says we should let us all, <laughs> yeah. all go. Yeah. You know, Peter, I'm beginning to think these days There's an that agenda. That, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that you have an agenda to just throw me under the bus every single time. <laughs> like, whenever there's a, a problem question, yeah. throw it at Chris <laughs> and let him great. suffer with it. No, but uh, I, I think that, I think that, um, that there are no hard and fast rules generally all over the world. I mean, you know, Faisal mentioned the Pope, but the Pope's job is one. Mm -hmm. it's, there can only be one Pope. Mm -hmm. And there's seven billion people. We all can't be Popes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but the thing is, um, generally, there would be preferences. 
um, like, like Faisal has said. Mm -hmm. I think that it, it takes to a leaning. Um, <laughs> we, we no longer are in a society where, um, where women stay home. Uh, I, I want true. to agree with Paul. I think, I think we've, we've moved on from that. Although there's still some scenarios where you find a man insisting and telling his wife, yeah, you I'll stay pay home you per month. and cook, I'll pay you an allowance. Yeah. How much do you want? Yeah. Okay, whatever that job is, how much are they giving you? Two million, I'll give you two million. Stay home, you know, give back to babies, be a baby machine, and that's your... <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and he's fine. Yeah. And, and, and there's people who are like that. Yeah, and some women prefer uh, that. And like some that. women prefer that, yeah. you know, look it's, beautiful. They just have to make a choice. You know, yeah. look at your fingers, and, and, and that's it. But, but there's people who, who think different these days. And I think that, um, principally, God created all of us to be productive. Work, is, work was, was, first of all, not a curse. If you're looking at a biblical perspective, work was, was something good. Yes. Right? So man and woman, actually, when the Bible says, and God created man, male and female, he created them. So work was given to both male and female. Mm -hmm. to tend the garden, to extend what the Garden of Eden was to all over the, world, the earth, okay? Mm -hmm. so, so work was not predominantly either male or female. Or female. Mm -hmm. It was to mankind, mm -hmm. right? We all find purpose and usefulness when we work, when we are able to, to transform something because of our input. Mm -hmm. So because of that, everybody wants to have a positive contribution in society. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that ultimately what we need to be finding is what's our purpose what's our god-given purpose what are the things that 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 keep you up at night the things that make you cry the things that make you angry mm. the stuff you want to change yeah. uh, for people who want um, justice law and order you know you find them in the forces people who want to um, construct stuff out of nothing um, maybe brick and mortar maybe in the construction yeah. engineering whatever there's people who uh, want to be persuasive they'll be in communications and marketing so there's different roles mm -hmm. but I think that for every human being uh, there is a purpose mm -hmm. and and because when I'm thinking about this whole thing about male dominated jobs or women dominated jobs I, I want to think about it in the sense of the purpose can't be dominated by male or female mm -hmm. Purpose yeah. is inherent mm. in each one. Mm -hmm. so, so the reason why, um, like I was reading, and I forget the name of the lady, but I was reading in the States that the first lady who ever flew an aeroplane across uh, yeah, the Atlantic, yeah. mm. I forget her name, um, she was struggling to break through uh, Hillary, Hillary Clinton's proverbial glass ceiling because men said women can't do this. Mm -hmm. But it's because they wanted to control that area. And then she shows up and proves them wrong. Mm -hmm. Actually, flying is not very menu anyway. It's a brain thing. So mm -hmm. what they were saying by that time is that women don't have the brains to fly a plane. And, and they're wrong. Some of the best flights that I've had in my life mm -hmm. are by female pilots. They land well, they take off well. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, so, so it's a purpose thing. Mm -hmm. If it's in the heart, you can do it. Yeah. All right, cool. And And... Probably we, we, we do we need to go into a break then. I'll come yeah, straight okay. back to you. <laughs> now, we here at the Sheraton okay. Kampala Hotel talking about the different sexes where work is concerned. Are there certain jobs that are for men? Or are there certain jobs that are for women? Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. But before you go, don't forget social media belongs to you. And this is your show. Follow us on Twitter and the hashtag is NTVMen. Or you can like our Facebook page. It is NTV Men. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back from the break. In case you've just joined us, we're here at the Sheraton Kampal Hotel on your favorite show that is brought to you by Obulam. Now, men and women, first of all, Chris, wrong example. She disappeared, <laughs> was never seen again. But that's... She the plane, yeah. and now there are many female yeah, she pilots. Did, she did. But she, she landed still, in Japan. And, and never came back and, again. And, and never bas came back, never basing showed on, up. Uh, basing on our traditional cultural uh, history, mm. that alone was enough to motivate quite a number of women to follow in her thoughts. And many of them have succeeded, not only in flying planes, but also in doing other things, so many other things in the medical field and everywhere. Mm. So what we are saying here is that 
We don't want to think that there are no challenges for men in the female world doing the jobs traditionally earmarked for women or women doing the jobs earmarked for men. There are challenges. There are there, quite mm. a number of them. But we would like to give them the opportunity to, develop, to find themselves. If you find yourself and you're happy, please go on. If you, if you find that you don't like it, quit. Go but to another field. But I still feel like there are just some jobs that are meant for men and some <laughs> jobs that are meant for women. Like what? I mean, you're a police officer. Yeah. yeah. And I'm doing and, it very and well, according yes, to me. Yes, and, yes, yes. And, and I would like <laughs> to hope that. I was, I I was like not doing that. I was not doing that. I would not like to hope so. Yeah. What, what I was talking about is we get checked all the time. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And there's this, you know, before it, it, always only, it was only just a man. Man checks both men and women. Yeah, if the size of things, shoes one male. Then came things like sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if if I'm a guy and you're a woman and you're touching me and I'm not feeling comfortable, that that amounts to sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. So there, there it okay, is. That job is if, only if and if only going to be would you for blame, the guy. Would you so blame it's the guy <laughs> going to check me? Is and it's the lady and you see. Oh, and ladies are and, comfortable and, with and, guys and, dropping and, them. No, 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 no. Uh, this, is, this is why I said. And for the ladies part, it's the same. I mean, we go to bars these days. There are always two people. There's a guy checking men. Yeah. And there's a woman checking. And the checking. law provides yeah. for that. You can't. You're way. not going to be like ah, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, men can do. Women can do any job. You know what? Come and check these men. Some men are going to feel uncomfortable. For, so just because of that, that job is going to be. Let's, let me give also another no, no, no. example. I don't you understand are, are, that one because <laughs> because what I know is that it's provided within the law that mm. men do not check women because of the exactly. Yeah. So you can't. But do the that women job. can actually mm. check you, and no, it's fine. No. Like if there is, I there is if no I did, assault case against If I did, if I did want, I would say no. I would there say no. no. If I don't want a woman to check me, she's not going to check me. I'm not going to enter. Let me help you. This is a fan de poly. But she arrests people but, based on the law. If mm, she tells but you but that the men, in the law, but the men are not allowed to check the women. Yeah, but the men shouldn't. So, so you see, just, 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 just that joke. A lady a lady cop can arrest a man. Yes, but a man. Cop cannot arrest a lady. Uh, so, uh, so mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? Yes, but so I, men I, I, can I, I, do the that. The physical job. arrest, though, but yes. you can instruct a, a lady I, officer yeah. to although, do the although arrest I've on your behalf. Some male police officers arresting. Women Why did you see that? That's TV. a whole different they story. But <laughs> I'll, I'll still continue. <laughs> but let me let me ask you something. Let's say you go to an airport, <laughs> and you the ladies the ladies room, and you find a guy in the ladies in the room. ladies room. Yes. How how would you feel? No, is he cleaning the toilet or using? No, the no, 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 no. I'm I'm but about to get even there. Even then, how would you feel? Even then, mm. it would you you would need to really find out what exactly he's doing there. No, how would you feel? Because Whether he's, he's a cleaner or he's not a cleaner, how would you? Feel? No, his job may be to work on the on the on the on the electric connection. Where is this going? Where are we going? <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. Okay. Where are we going? He's looking for a way to get to the no, oh. I'm just, I'm just but saying. I'm just the, saying. However much, however much, you know, we deny. He's using the same There are just some jobs. <laughs> Men for men, and there are also some jobs <laughs> meant for women. <laughs> period. I, mean, look, I think I can pick on what Faisal is, is, is and where he's going with this. Mm. Um, basically, there's there's certain jobs which you'd feel comfortable um, having a specific sex doing it. But um, my question is, is this changing the oh, way we? Would you give us an example of those jobs? Exactly, I'm yes. looking for them. Right. And I'm I'll, not give you, I'll give you. I'll give you a super example. Yeah. Like, um, I would prefer any time. Mm. A female dentist, or even if I go for a massage, I would not want to be massaged by a man. By a man, exactly. I mean, it's just Thank you. I, I, and I can't. And I don't know. And for I don't know whether else, you go for massage. It's the reverse. Yes. Mm. So, so it's when the, the, that's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> a, it's a, it's a, it's a if preferential. You see, thing, yeah, it's a <laughs> not it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. subjective. It's a very subjective. Yeah. On uh, your preferences, yeah. on your feelings. Yeah, because because I mm -hmm. I cannot allow yeah. a woman to massage me. Me. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, Chris. and I'm I'm your direct Chris, opposite. Have you have you ever gone for a massage? Listen, eh? Oh, that's the <laughs> no, 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 no. Man, first, you, first you reply. Know, do you know why have I you? haven't? <laughs> <laughs> it's because most masseuses are, are ladies. Okay. I cannot allow. No, I know. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yes. So, so the point is that is that these things are very subjective. Okay. Um. And and mm. and, and I guess that that's the reason why 
th there are more alternatives yes. that open up <sighs> windows and opportunities. I, mm. I was, I was um, in a conference recently, and there's a guy called Michael Elliott. He's a screenwriter, but he also owns um, a chain of uh, men's spas and salons called Hammers and Nails, mm -hmm. who, who um, went for a massage in a spa somewhere. He was you know, in between jobs. And, 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 and then he had, uh, what's the thing that's done on the nails? Is, it, is that the manicure or pedicure? What, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's it the pedicure. <laughs> that's the pedicure. Pedicure, yes. okay. Mm. So, so he had a pedicure done on him. And, and, and he realized that there were men on whom they were doing a pedicure in the US in the spas because they are sec they're secure, they're safe, they're, you know, it's closed. Mm. Mm. Um, but when he went to have a pedicure done in a normal salon, everyone was looking at him funny, like, who's, who's, I mean, a guy, they're doing your nails, what's I, that? I, I agree with that. Okay. Mm. So, so, so then he actually discovered a business opportunity. Mm. He got to realize that most men actually prefer to do a pedicure Not most because men. it's, many men Pick would up. want to do a pedicure because it's hygienic, because there's dirt in there and all that, mm. but they don't want to have these guys who finger girls, women's feet also doing, I mean, it looks odd. You look like uh, you, you're less than a man. So he actually got a business opportunity and opened hammers and nails. <coughs> it's a spa for men, right? Mm -hmm. Where, yeah, you can get a massage and all that, but you can also get a pedicure and you are safe and secure. Your friends won't laugh at you. Mm -hmm. One of the things, and I'd like Polly to, to come in here, one of the things which we must accept is that tradition had a place, and it still does amongst us, especially yeah. as Africans. Um, now, you are in a very male-dominated uh, field. It's not so so these days. We are trying to work to, around to, to the clock to, to balance it, yeah. yes. But the but reason may I say so, it, especially in law enforcement, um, it's, it's no secret that m most of the people who are on the aggressor side mm. are men. Because by the uh, nature of our species, we are more aggressive. Mm. Have you ever encountered a situation where um, you have to enforce the law and you get this guy who looks and says, but you're, you're just a woman, what can you do? Yeah, well, of course there are those stereotypes. Yeah. The stereotyping, you can't wake up in the morning and do away with it. Mm. You can't. So <coughs> we're learning to, to find a place for it in our lives as we do our work, but not such a big place because if you try to put me down on the basis that I'm female, I will tell you off. That's the truth. Because actually, I know my job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually, I actually had it the other way around. Because yeah. most of like the female traffic officers, my God, they mm. are so they are so like the guys, the guy the guy's level of aggression is here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, like I have to stand. It's like no, you know. The, the, well, that, that's because of the <coughs> stereotypes. They expect mm. it because they've gone through it a number of times. But we don't make it part of of, of our daily policing. We know it is there, but we must do our work. So we find a place for it, and then we shun it away, and then we do our work. Mm. However, uh, what it has done, what it has done, is to make the females want to actually prove that they can do that work and do it even better. Mm -hmm. Which is not so bad because it's a push factor. Yeah. Uh, but would like to would like to also inculcate it in others that it's not so much of a male world yeah. that we can't perform in it. We can still perform in it. And um, when I was growing up, my father, mm -hmm. thank God he's still alive, he, he always told me, I had, I had brothers, but he would tell me and my siblings, my sisters, that I want my girls to even be better than men. And I know you can be better than men. Mm -hmm. That's because of the, histori the historical perspective that, you know, the women are in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But he knew that his girls can do better and should do better. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I would like to hope that I didn't disappoint. <coughs> <laughs> I can tell you, you are worse to many men. Like to <laughs> so, yeah. so, he was right. Yeah, he so was. the women out there mm -hmm. and the girls, particularly the girls, I'm very, very 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 inclined to the girls i really want to see girls getting out of that shell mm -hmm. that stereotype i want them to know that they can actually put on these trousers mm -hmm. and move and work what is very interesting is recently we were making policies um, on on for the the department of women mm -hmm. uh, in the police and somebody tried to tell us to to make maternity wear 
<laughs> for, the, for, for them when they are pregnant. Mm. Do you know, all the women said, no, no maternity wear. Yeah. Because they know the moment you put on the maternity and come to duty, you will not, you will not actually fit in that, yeah. in that male-dominated world, as you call it. So we still want to put on these uniforms until that point when you can't put on the uniform and you go. Then you go and you go and leave. Yes. Wow. But question, so, where that's concerned, can we then say that women are ruining society? And I'll tell you where, where, where my question is coming Please from. Please do. Because <laughs> <laughs> isn't this a situation did you see, where... First wait, did you see how Chris just looked at you like, my said, oh, no, what are you <laughs> <laughs> No, but hear me out. Elsa looked at him twice. I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you where my, my question is coming mm. from. We are seeing a situation where women are getting more and more in control of their surroundings. And, more and that's the spoiling. If I'll the women are in control, I but think... But then now men are starting to take... Uh, or what you the call back it, uh, yes, the back seat, mm. and saying, anyway, you know what, the women have got this, and we're seeing it. The, mm. w um, during my father's time, mm. a lot of men, men had to work. It was, it was a given. But now we're seeing a situation where there are more and more kept men, and the women are the ones who are working, yeah. and men are saying, hey, you know what, she's got this. So they actually just go, last drink, week we were, we were talking <laughs> about and that's men it. Comes who, are, back who like enjoy <laughs> being sexually harassed. Well, no, I, 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 wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't want to agree uh, because anyway, if the men want to go and drink, they'll still drink even when the woman is at home not working. Mm. But I would like to, to put it this way, that when the women move to states, of course we still have the fact that before they did not have that advantage. So they will not move the five steps like the men will do. Mm -hmm. But when the women do move the two steps, the men will be pushed to move the four steps and even further. So you will find that the family is actually growing in, in all directions. It mm -hmm. is actually developing yeah. even more than it would have done if the, if the man was the only one doing the, the out of home kind of work. So the fact that women are out of the kitchen and running Mm -hmm. makes the men even run faster. Let me give you an example. I used to, I used to be uh, an athlete. Mm -hmm. And in my training school, yes, one of my friends doesn't believe it, I can see her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now, in, in the training school, I used to run faster than most of the men. Mm -hmm. But I would see that they are striving to ensure that they are ahead of me, even if it is by one step. Yeah. You know? Okay. So that is the kind of competition that the women bring into the world of, Chris, do you agree? of work. Agree with what? With her or yes. with what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still because, holding no, no. to it. <laughs> because I'll tell you where I'm coming because from. Because <laughs> there's a whole new crop of men, especially their age. What? Okay. Yeah, who are easy. <laughs> they, they know, they, they say, you know what, as long as I get a girl who's working and she's handling business, mm. it's fine. Mm -hmm. no, no, Peter, I, I, I think we have a totally different problem. Yeah. <laughs> when you have a guy who decides to throw up his legs mm -hmm. and and watch TV mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. while while the the woman is out there slaving away, and and it's it's sadly it's real, mm -hmm. um, where you have guys sitting at home for years on mm -hmm. end. No job. Um, we, uh, you know, and they say I can't find a job, mm -hmm. and and the woman is 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 slaving away to maintain the family. Um, you know, the guys are called the six pack guys, you know, yeah. just want to stay looking good. And, you know. <laughs> uh, but, but you know, the, the thing is that that's not necessarily because, like, I, like she said, it's not because women have stepped up and can work. Mm -hmm. Many times, for most women, it's because they're frustrated with the guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, if, if she also stays home and, and twiddles with her fingers, the kids won't have yeah, food. There'll be no school fees. Mm -hmm. And she just is not going to accept mm -hmm. that standard of living for her kids. Mm -hmm. And so they are forced, in, in those cases, forced to work even doubly hard yeah. to two maintain jobs and the family. Jobs, yeah. Keep two jobs yeah. and that kind of thing. I, I mean, in all honesty, guys, if you're that guy and you're watching <laughs> this show today, please, please go, go and work. work. <laughs> you know, make bagia. Yes. Probably. Sell me. Probably no, sleeping something. by now. You know, because, yeah. because you, know, you know what's he important? Says they're probably asleep by now. Because you can't have stayed <laughs> no, 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 watching TV the whole chewing, time chewing and right still be awake by 10.30. <laughs> 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 she's not chewing up. This is the thing that guys do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> but really, when you stop to think cool, about it, yeah. um, women are not looking for men who, who earn top dollar. No. They're looking for a guy who can earn enough to sustain yeah. the family. She could even mm -hmm. be earning lots more yes. than you. But if you can earn mm -hmm. just enough to maintain the family, yeah. it works. All right, we just need, we'll go into a break and come back straight to you, but, Faisal. Now, we're here at the Sheraton Kampala Hotel on your favorite show that's not afraid to talk about the things that nobody else wants to talk about. We'll be right back after the break, but don't forget hashtag NTV Men. Or you can follow us on Facebook, it's also NTV Men. Welcome back from the break. In case you just joined us, we are here at the Sheraton Kampala Hotel in the last segment where we are talking about work. Is that, are we in a situation where there are certain jobs that are supposed to be done by women or are there certain jobs that are strictly supposed to be done by men? Faisal, you food say, for thought as you, mm, you, you give us your point. Mm. We've been talking about encouraging women to work. Yeah. Fair enough, very yeah. good. Mm. But there's this thing called a work-life balance. And there's, there's a reason why women are better at taking care of the home <laughs> than men. Fact. No fact. We'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before, before, before engaging that, I wanted to comment on, on what you said. Right, right now, Chris, let me ask you something. Let's say, well, you're not single, but if you were single, would you prefer to, you know, get married to a woman who's going to stay at home or get married to a woman who's actually going to work? Do you really want my answer? <laughs> get married to a woman who's going to work. Yeah. Is that exactly. my answer? Let oh, the man answer. It's, yeah. Then just give me okay, the answer. So, so my answer is, <laughs> what happened, mm. which is, I got married to a woman who I wanted to achieve her highest potential, whether she was at work mm. or not. Mm. So this is this is the that's thing that's happening. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not. Okay. It just it just, it's, it's it just confused me. That's why I'm just moving on. <laughs> no, let me let truth. me move on before it's I forget my, get my point. So whether she was at work or not, she she was fine because she at some time she worked mm. six years. She stayed at home, then worked again, started a new anyway, business. It's fine. But the guys, the guys we are seeing these days. You talked about. I, I won't say ruining society. I'm mm. just. I'll, I'll just say society is changing, okay. because then you get a woman she's going to stay home so you have to work twice as hard because she's at home she's doing nothing okay she's doing something but she's not earning money <laughs> but now you're going to there's there's this new version <coughs> of men where you're going to talk to a guy and he's going to be like you know what i'd prefer to date a woman who has a job because it's easier for me like it's easier for the guy when the woman has yeah. a job which, which is, is a true. fact. Which is true. Which borders to what you are saying that the men kind of lean back. Because, le I mean, let's face it. If I'm dating, let's say, you know those people who work like in uh, procurement companies, those, they earn top dollar. Mm -hmm. And she's earning money, and I'm earning money. I'm not going to really be forced to work as hard as I would have if she was home. Because she's earning. It's a gray area. And I'm yeah. earning. And that's very it's a, gray. It's a, it's yeah. a gray area, it's gray but gray it's a fact. Because she could say, mm. Mommy, since I am home and I don't work, whatever you bring, you should <laughs> yeah. be okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, you, but you get what I'm saying. So men now have changed. Yes, they have that kind of laid back attitude now because no one wants to work for the whole family, like how it used to be. I mean, then our fathers would look at it as pride. He walks around, he's like, I provide for this whole family. I give all of you the money you eat, the food. How yeah, can you talk to me mind. like that and all that? Yeah, you see, th that, that element would come in. Mm. I provide everything, I build this home. How can you talk to me like that, as which, you said? Which, 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 which really isn't the, what we are looking for as women. We yes, are not yes, looking yes, yes. for that. So what I'm going to say is, I'm not going to say they have ruined men. Let's just say society is changing, and the men are now more laid back mm -hmm. than when they were and uh you you talked about w something you see chris now you made me forget <laughs> the point <laughs> but, <laughs> but can, can i still say from from what uh, from what he has said that it doesn't change the fact that we are women no, going to work doesn't change the fact that we're women we still want to see you 
uh, take care of our salon. Mm. You know, we will contribute to the school fees. We have no problem with it. We will contribute to the to buying food at home. We will but please do take care of us. Buy us the dresses. We don't mind. So go and work. Bring the money and take care of us. We shall Nobody take care cash. of our bills. <laughs> 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 but let me ask but you the, uh, what, one question. <laughs> Picking up from what, where he has he's come, does the work-life balance exist? And I'll tell you where uh, I'm coming from. Um, often we've heard it's that some men are unfair because he says, oh, you know what, I've, I've, I've been working, then he gets home, he expects a good meal, but he wants his, his wife to cook for him, mm. and he doesn't want to eat uh, food from the house girl. But at the same time, the lady is saying, but I've also come from work, okay. so." How do you expect me to also now come from work? I've also had an equally stressed day, possibly even more stressed than, than yours. Yeah. And then I go into the kitchen and then, and, and then start um, uh, cooking and preparing uh, a meal for you. Yeah. Not that I'm making an excuse for men, yeah. but there's some men who say, oh, you know, that, that's how I ended up with the house girl. Mm. Mm. Well, that, that, that's... That's a question or a discussion for a whole day, yeah. and I think we should spare it for that day. <laughs> but what I would like to remind the women out there who do work, you still remain a woman. And if you choose to be in a relationship, you're the woman in the relationship, okay? And so if you're the woman in the relationship, you're still a mother, and you're not going to leave your children to be mothered by I don't know who, so you will still do that. And the father, you will not leave your children to be fathered by I don't know who. You will still be the father to those children. And what are you supposed to do? Take care of them. So whether you take care of them at intervals, it is up to you as a, as a relationship, as people in a relationship. Or whether you choose to, to all go to work and then come back and take care of the children at the same time together, it is up to you. But those children are your responsibility. The, ma the husband and the wife or the man and woman in the relationship, you're each other's responsibility and you know how you should do that. Please do it. But what we want to see at work, we want to see a competent woman who has come to work. We want to see a competent man who has come to work. Okay, very tough words. <laughs> 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 Chris, <laughs> does it exist, work-life balance? Um, I listened to an author, and I'm ashamed I forget his second name. He's called Kevin, Kevin something. Mm. Um, he's written a book called... Kevin Hart? No. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's written a book called Put Your Mask On First. Mm -hmm. You know, from the analogy, like when you're on a plane and it's an emergency and the masks, the yeah. oxygen masks yeah. fall, before Put your you mask jump. on first mm. before you help others. That's mm. an instruction that's given on flights most yeah. of the time. Yeah. And, 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 and so his argument actually is that there is work, there is life, but in the middle is self. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so we no longer have a work-life balance, but we have a work-self-life life. balance. So, so while, while you're taking care of work, and you're taking care of life, home, and everything, there is you too yes, so. mm. to deal with. And I think that that's, that's really a game changer in this whole conversation of work-life balance. Yeah. Because when you stop to think about it, if you work too much, it swallows up yourself, and mm. it's even eats into home. Mm -hmm. that's, that's dangerous. Mm. If you're too much of a chiller, like those six-pack guys that we keep talking about, <laughs> You chill so much, yeah. you, you, you are so not useful anymore, yeah. and, and you are definitely detrimental to the productivity of our society. Mm -hmm. and, and so you really find that it starts I don't have six bucks. You don't have a skill to your I don't have six bucks. By the way, guys, probably nothing against six bucks. It's just Peter's definition of the guys who dream and all that. Well, it's, it's Peter who brought it up. But, but, but really, the, the, the point is that you, 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 you want to start with who you are and I for me I think this is really really important mm -hmm. that you want to start with who you are you want to start with the things that matter to you you want to start with how useful you can be to society mm -hmm. start from that point mm -hmm. and and keep yourself in a in a in a healthy useful space in, in a place where you are replenished you play the games you like to play mm -hmm. you 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 have things that fill your passion bucket yeah. And out of the fullness of, of your passion bucket being full yeah. and, and you being revitalized, you work well yeah. and you're able to take care of home well. 
Mm -hmm. and, and so for me, I, I really think that it comes back to what other things that really matter to someone. Mm -hmm. um, whether, say, you're a CEO <coughs> in a business or whatever it is that you do. What mm -hmm. are the things that matter most to you, which if work stopped and, and, and family went or friends went, is it family that stays that you're like, this is what really matters to you? What are the things that really matter? So if you take care of those things first, making sure they're taken care of and they fill your bucket, mm -hmm. then you'll actually find that you'll find balance for work and for, the and for family yeah. or for yeah. life as it, as, it is, as it is. So yeah. I think there's a third dimension. Okay, um, I don't know. Yeah. Is not exactly I'm, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not really going with your point today, that. nope, Chris. Yeah, but, but um, isn't that easier said than done? I mean, in theory, it's just like exactly, exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You see, no, no, no. Work? Let, me, yeah. let me give you, let me give you a practical example. Mm. So, um, the reason why I have been here for years, butting heads with the Faisals and you and Colin and everybody on this show, is because I, I so believe in family. For me, family is not just a theory, mm. it's important. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason is, and I've, I wrote a book called The Golden Fathering, and I tell part of my story there. The reason is that uh, from when I was 10 and my parents separated, I really got to see the value of family. family. Mm -hmm. You know, having a family where a father is absent, is, is, it sucks, mm -hmm. right? Or if there is no mother, or if the siblings, you know, you come from a family where siblings have, are fighting for each other for 20 years over property and they sue each other and stuff like that it sucks mm -hmm. you know we can't live like that yes. so for me I, I, I if you like part of my purpose in life is to help as many people as possible to have a healthy family life mm -hmm. I wake up for that I can do stuff for free for the sake of family yeah. mm -hmm. so for me that is my passion bucket and it's alive and it's red hot mm -hmm. so because of that there's things I will do in the workplace because of family, yeah. and there's stuff I'll do in my private life because of family. So it's not it's not a myth; it's real. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and maybe because of that, because of that uh, that passion, we've got some extremes. We have extreme cases where you find that somebody is not able to do that balance, mm -hmm. and they choose to remain in one thing, like doing the job. And it happens to both men and women. Mm -hmm. So when you asked about striking the balance, if you feel you can't strike the balance, we are not saying don't do the job, but choose what you're going to do and do it well. If you're I going to like yes, if you're go if you're going to if you're going to do the job and you're sure that you're not going to be able to mother those children the way you should mother them, first do the job. Now, guys, we've reached a point when we actually do have to wrap mm. up the show, but I just got one question for you, mm. Polly. I have heard, I don't know how true it is, but I'd like to hear from you. Okay. Um, do you find it easier to work with men than to work with women? At my place of work, or is it women generally? Generally. Because I've heard women say, um, uh, Faisal mentioned it, he talked about the way, like, for example, in a salad, a lot of women would prefer to get their hair done by by a man. Well, a I, I don't know who told him massage. because yeah. <laughs> I don't know, you know who told him. There are those who even have um, have uh, an allergy to men touching them. Yeah. Mm. So it's it's about preference, really. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to work, there are not so many choices. Mm -hmm. You don't have so many choices. If there, if your boss is male, you've got to find a way of working with that boss. Yeah. If your boss is female, just find a way of ensuring that you do the work yeah. and do it as expected. Yeah. Okay. With that, give us your parting shot. Thank you. Uh, I would like to, as I said earlier, I am very passionate about girls. Mm -hmm. And I would like to push for the cause of a, of a girls, of a girl child. Please do get out of that small cocoon that has been built around you that you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Because you can do it. And you can even do it better. I want to tell you. And I know that Chris will, will be able to encourage you. There are many people out there to encourage you. Peter, and, and we shall all encourage you. We shall be there for you. To the men, the boys, they can do the same. But do not try to suffocate those girls. Mm -hmm. Do not try to do that. You're being fire. <laughs> Chris, you're watching <laughs> shots. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I just would like just go back to what I think is, is the main thrust for me when I think about whether jobs should be for male or female, I, I don't think that jobs have a gender. 
jobs don't have agenda. Uh, passion doesn't have agenda. Purpose doesn't have agenda. So yeah. if, if your purpose is, and your passion is, is something to do with engineering or some weird thing, and you say female, and mostly men do it, um, be the first female to do it mm. and open the way for others. If you are a guy and, and there's jobs that are typically for females, but you are passionate about it and you have purpose in it, do it. I, I think that's really what it is. Start yeah. from the center, go out. Spread out. That's how to live life, yeah. I think. Great stuff. <laughs> 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 wow. <Yeah. laughs> Now that you don't have a six pack, my, so. my, my, my batting shot is, uh, and uh, first of all, on the work life balance thing, I feel like most of us right now concentrate on work because mm -hmm. without work, you have no life. Even after we try to work towards being equal, men and women, and we try to ignore the fact that women can't do some jobs, men can't do some jobs. Mm. Those jobs are there. And uh, <laughs> we shouldn't suffocate women, yes, mm, it's true. You. And men also shouldn't be looked down upon for thank doing you. jobs like, yeah. uh, the, you know, the Qtex guy. Says, I see yeah. people abusing that guy, but that guy really does a good job. Like if you see him, the way he massages the women going up, all the way, you what know, is that? everyone is always happy. What is that? But the way, 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 down upon because of that job. <laughs> and uh, the, we know why they're in that job, not for genuine reasons. Now we've reached the end of our show. We have been talking about sexual orientation where work is concerned. Are there certain jobs that are for men or are there certain jobs that are for women? Again, it's about choices. Do what you can do. There's no point of sitting at home saying you don't have work because you can't do a job that's either for a man or for a woman. Work is work. It earns you money. Have a good night and God bless.